Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mel and for today's lesson, we're going to focus on how to solve quadratic equations by completing the square. Let's have our first example, x squared plus 8x minus 20 is equal to 0. The first step is we need to move to the right side of the equation, negative 20. If we move a negative 20 to the right side of the equation, this becomes x squared plus 8x is equal to 20. Nagbabago yung sign kapag pinatranspose natin to other side of the equation ng isang number or variable. The next step is we need to identify what number should be added to both sides of the equation. Anong number ang i-add natin sa both side ng equation? Okay, ganito yung gagawin. So, yung 8x, yung number or yung coefficient ng x, ang gagawin natin ay we need to multiply that 1 to 1 half and then we square it. Okay? So, kung ano yung coefficient ng x, multiply natin sa 1 half, tapos square natin yung sagot. So, 1 half times 8 becomes 4. Square ng 4, or 4 times 4, is equal to 16. So, therefore, ang i-add natin sa both side ng equation ay si 16. So, this becomes x squared plus 8x plus 16 is equal to 20 plus 16. After adding 16 to both sides of the equation, the next step is we need to put it in this form. So, x plus 4 squared is equal to 36. Saan galing si 36? 20 plus 16. Saan galing si x plus 4 squared? Okay. So, if we factor x squared plus 8x plus 16, this can be written as x plus 4 raised to 2. Or kapag nalilito ka, yung 4 galing lang yon sa 1 half ng 8. Okay? So, si 4 galing siya sa 1 half ng 8. So, get the square root of both sides of the equation. This becomes x plus 4 is equal to plus or minus 6. Okay? So, x is equal to negative 4 plus or minus 6. Minum natin si 4 sa right side ng equation or this can be written this way. x is equal to minus 4 minus 6 or x is equal to negative 10 and then sa kabila naman, x is equal to minus 4 plus 6 or x is equal to positive 2. That's our final answer. Let's have our next example. 2x squared minus 7x plus 12 equal to 0. We need to move 12 to the right side of the equation. This, so this becomes 2x squared minus 7x is equal to negative 12. So mapapansin mo, yung x squared natin meron na siyang coefficient. Okay? So before we move on to the next step, dapat matanggal muna yung coefficient ng x squared. Ano yung gagawin? We need to divide all of them by 2. Para x squared na lang ang matira kay 2x squared. So, dividing all of them by positive 2, this becomes x squared minus 7 half x is equal to negative 6. Since 12 divided by 2, or should I say negative 12 divided by 2, is negative 6. So, x squared na lang, wala ng coefficient ng x. Ang sunod na step we need to find out what number should be added to both sides of the equation. Ano yung step natin? Ang gagawin natin, yung 7 half or yung coefficient ng x, multiply natin sa 1 half and then we are going to square it. So, 7 half or 1 half times 7 half, it becomes 7 over 4. Then square it, it becomes 49 over 16. So, si 49 over 16 ang i-add natin sa both side ng equation. So, this become x squared minus 7 half x plus 49 over 16 is equal to negative 6 plus 49 over 16. Okay, next, we write it this way. x minus 7 over 4 raised to 2 is equal to 47 over 16. Ga saan galing si 7 over 4? Si 7 over 4... 
ay galing pag minultiply natin si 7 over 2 kay 1 half. So, square lang natin yon. Or, ito yung factored out form ng x squared minus 7 half x plus 49 over 16. Yung x minus 7 over 4 raised to 2 is equal to negative 6 plus 49 over 16 is negative 47 over 16. Getting the square root of both sides, it becomes x minus 7 over 4 is equal to plus or minus square root of negative 47 over 4 since the square root of 16 i 4. And then, square root of a negative number is an imaginary number. So the final answer becomes x is equal to 7 over 4 plus i square root of 47 over 4, or x is equal to 7 minus i square root of 47 over 4. Okay, you may try this one. Answer key will follow. You can post the video. So the answer for this one is x is equal to negative 9 and the x is equal to positive 7. Thank you everyone. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment. I'm happy to answer any questions. Please subscribe for more math videos. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.